I tried filming this exact video yesterday because I thought the lighting was good and that I was having a good hair day. And I'm having a good hair day. So I thought that I would record this video and I was wrong for both of those things. I also was unprepared. So mine are the following. I haven't even written them down. One second. So I'm refilming today. But essentially what I kind of want to start doing is some casual sit down videos. Quick, super casual about a topic that you requested for today's topic. Nobody requested it. Not one. Thought I would do this video because I think it's important and it's a great time to do this video and I see them everywhere. So this is going to be a 2021 New Year's resolution, goals, intentions, affirmations, commitments. I feel like there are so many different types of words to try and describe this thing, but they all mean the same thing. So whatever you want to call it, that's what this is. The timing's right. It's the beginning of the year. We want to set the tone for 2021. So keep watching. These are some of my goals for the year. Some of these are goals that I've been putting off. Some of these are goals that I'm too scared to start. Some of these are goals that they're circumstantial. Anyways, I'm rambling, which is what I really didn't want to do because it's supposed to be quick and casual and easy breezy. So we're going to get into it. The first goal of mine is to be impeccable with my word. That is a concept from the book, The Four Agreements. At its core, it means speaking with integrity, saying things that you truly mean. It just makes you mindful of what you're saying how you're approaching, what you're thinking, and language matters, especially now. Catching yourself on what you're saying and how you're saying it is really important. Words have power and your word means something to a lot of people. It also means to be reflective and pause and take your time when responding to something. I really wanna make more of an effort to stop saying I have to and start saying I get to. Sometimes I'll catch myself and I'll say, I have to go to practice or I have to go to work out. No, I get to go to practice and I get to go to work out. I think that changes the meaning completely. It changes your perspective. It changes your approach. It will make you feel more grateful um, and present, mindful with the words that I choose and the language that I'm... Just editing the video, the word she's looking for is using the language I'm using. It's a bad time to forget a word. I also want to perfect the morning routine. I'm gonna try and win the morning. You, know, you win the morning, you win the day, and you wanna set yourself up for the best day possible. I'm trying a couple things right now that um, I think will stick. I know there are tons of books out there, tons of trends, lots of resources. It can be really overwhelming, almost to a point where trying to perfect the morning routine defeats the purpose of the morning routine. Um, and it can be like paralyzing. The point of a morning routine is to be mindful and to set yourself up for a great day. Since I'm currently back in LA, I am far away from my loved ones and I'm used to being in long distance relationships. I'm used to being away from home, but I think especially this year with everything that's going on, I think it's important to try and keep those connections alive. You gotta water those relationships, you know? I think it's easy to kind of just like assume that they're always gonna be there for you and they love you and you don't really always put the effort in. And a few ways that I'm gonna to look to try and do that is by honestly scheduling calls, whether it's weekly, bi-weekly, but just have it in your calendar so that it's something that you can look forward to. It's something that you don't have to plan for. It's not something that you miss. I have a lot of siblings. And so I think a good way to do this and not have it be overwhelming is to kind of group your people together, have a siblings group chat. It's more efficient and it's fun. Another way that I wanna stay connected is by doing activities together. And I know it's tough when you're in the middle of a pandemic, but also in a different country. What's great actually about this pandemic is that there are a lot of virtual resources. So I just went to a virtual concert the other day and it was amazing. <laughs> to it with my stepsister and we had a great time. We were both watching the same concert from the comfort of our own home. 
And it was just really lovely. The virtual concerts, virtual events, those are fantastic to share with your loved ones. I actually am really quite competitive. We do a lot of games nights. Um, there are lots of online resources for this. I'm actually in a heated Yahtzee game with my boyfriend right now. I'm winning. You can play these games from your phone. You can still have that really great chirping banter that you have with your sibling. And I think it's just a really great way to stay connected. I have never felt better physically. I feel really strong. I feel healthy. I'm energized. I feel good. One thing though that I really want to work on is my posture. Posture is power and I am always caught like this. When you sit up tall and you stand up straight and your posture is on point, you feel more confident. And when you feel more confident, you just do better. Let's all do better. Right? Este año me comprometo Hablar español con fluidez. That was so good. Este año me comprometo a hablar español con fluidez. If you know me, you know I am Canadian Chilean, Chilean Canadian. Yo nací en Canadá, pero mis papás son de Chile. My parents are from Chile. I was born in Canada. I grew up speaking Spanish. My whole family speaks Spanish, but I just haven't mastered it yet. This year, I'm going to take it really seriously. I think to the average person, uh, Canadian person, North American person, I might be like decently fluent in Spanish, but to Spanish speakers, native Latins, I am gringa. When I was 25, I set a goal for myself to be fluent in the five romantic languages by the time I was 30. I'm 28 and I haven't done any. Mela is apple in Italian. <clears throat> But I feel like what's more realistic is if I can master this language that I already know, that I'm quite well immersed in. It means a lot to me and something that I want to carry on the rest of my life and my kids' lives in the future. I'm going to master this language. Something I want to try um, is to start implementing to-done lists. I think we all start the day with, with a to-do list. It can be really overwhelming if you have a lot on the go. So a to-done list is a great way to kind of look at what you did that day, be reflective, feel a sense of accomplishment rather than start the day with an overwhelming, immense feeling of stress. To done. I feel like this video is no longer brief, quick and casual. I think I'm gonna finish the video. Let me just see if I've got everything. Oh, I want to create. I would love some ideas. I already have a couple in my head and this channel is one of them. I want to commit to this channel and growing. I don't want to put too much pressure on myself because I really actually enjoy the creative process and don't want to rely too heavily on putting out content that I don't really vibe with just for the sake of putting it out. I don't know, I would love for you to kind of help me grow this channel, um, share it, support me in this journey. Obviously the most important thing is that I'm committed to this, consistent with content planning and creating, which is definitely very new for me. I am very much an athlete and this creative side is coming out of nowhere, but I like it. And so I'm gonna follow it for the next little while, see where it takes me. Hold me accountable. Tell me what you wanna see when you say things out loud like this whole video. It makes you accountable for what you're setting yourself out to do. I hope this inspires you, inspired me, and it's given me that push to really commit to these goals. So I'm excited. I'm excited for 2021. I think it's gonna be good. See you next week. Popping in again because I realized I forgot another thing that I wanted to mention, another goal. Lots of people love to read books and set goals for how many books they wanna read per month or per year. And I have done that before. I have, I have done that and I'm not successful. I'm not successful. It's hard for me to finish a book actually. My goal for this year, instead of reading a certain number of books, I am going to commit myself to reading 10 pages a day. I don't feel like that's too much to ask, but I feel like it's very realistic and doable and will just get me reading. I think now, I think now we're done. I feel like I'm in the sunburn. I feel like my face is so burnt. Ow. What is the word? Proponer? Propon
component. I'm a big advocate for bringing gratitude into everything that you do. Oh my God, I forgot to mention this yesterday and I did it again today. I want to adopt, you're probably thinking child or puppy. No, I want to adopt a more minimalist lifestyle. Gone from home for nine months of the year. So a lot of my stuff just sits at home. I really want to be more intentional about what I'm buying, about what I'm keeping. I feel the clutter, like I feel the energy of all the clutter and all the stuff that I have. And so I'm starting to slowly get rid of things. I'm starting this minimalist journey and this minimalist project. You can follow this account as I slowly start getting rid of my things. Follow along if you want. And I think that's it.